Just think for a minute. When companies like Dell, Lenovo build a system, how do they calculate the performance of the system? Here the standard thumb rule is memory access time. That is the time taken by the processor to access the data. This quantity has to be less so that the system is fast. And because we are dealing with different levels of memory, we will not calculate memory access time. Instead, we will be calculating average memory access time. And for this quantity to be less, the data being searched should be readily available. And the successful access of the data at any memory level is called a hit. So, hit. We can state this as successful access to the data. What if, if it is unsuccessful? It is called as a miss. Now, if you are searching the data in cache and if it is a hit, it is called as a cache hit. And if it is main memory, it is called as a page hit. Because these are the terms used to represent the data blocks. On similar lines, we can say a cache miss or a page miss. So, page corresponds to main memory, cache corresponds to the cache memory. And one more metric to identify the successful access of the data is hit ratio or hit rate represented by H, where this H is the number of hits upon total attempts. Similar lines we can also define miss ratio or miss rate. For this, I will use the symbol 1 minus h. This is number of misses upon the total attempts. To understand this, let me give you an example. Suppose the processor requests memory blocks with block number 4, 8, 10, 15, and 2. And let's assume that the first three requests are misses and the last two are hits. From this data, I can write the hit ratio as number of hits by total attempts here we have two hits it is two upon the total requests are one two three four five it's two by five now how about the miss ratio it's one minus h so i can directly say one minus two by five this is five minus two by five that is three by five so either you can do it directly like that or even you can count it here we have three misses upon 5 requests. So, that is how it is 3 by 5. Now, what will happen if there is a miss? Now, for this, let me show you the block diagram. Let us assume we have a CPU and there is a cache, main memory and auxiliary memory. Now, when we switch on the system, the data from the auxiliary memory is actually loaded onto the main memory through an I.O. processor. Then the main memory can push the data onto the cache and from cache, the data could be accessed by the CPU. Now, when CPU makes a request, it checks in the cache. If it is available, it is a hit, the data will be accessed by CPU and it will use it. If it is a miss, then CPU has to search in the main memory. So again, if it is available in the main memory, it is called as a page hit. If not, it will go and search in the auxiliary memory. So basically, when a request is raised, the data has to be searched at different levels. It goes with cache, then main memory, then auxiliary memory. And the latest systems have a direct access to the main memory as well. So it need not go in a hierarchical way. It can parallelly check cache and main memory. Now when the data is not available in the cache, we are calling it as a miss. When the miss will happen, it has to go and search in the main memory. So, because of this, there will be some delay, isn't it? And again, if it is not available, it has to go and search in the auxiliary memory. Here again, there is a delay. Here, the delay will be much more compared to this. And this extra delay is called as miss penalty. If you put it in words, we can say this as, it is the extra time needed to bring the data from one level to the other. Now, how do we calculate the miss penalty? Now, there are two possibilities. Either the access could be a hierarchical one, where request goes to the first level, if it is not found, it goes to the second level. Or, 
or we may have a simultaneous access. In this case, the miss penalty will be different. So let's look at the miss penalty in both the cases. For this, let's look at the memory access. If the memory access is simultaneous, then CPU can access data from L1 as well as L2 at the same time. Here, let's assume the time taken to access L1 is T1 and time taken to access L2 is T2. Now, let's assume that CPU got a request and it has to search L1 and L2. Let the time instance be 0, so T is 0. In L1, the search will start. It will take T1 seconds. In the same instance, it is searched in L2 and the time taken is T2. And the time taken by T2 is greater than T1 because L2 is slower. Okay, let's assume that data is not found in T1. Therefore, data will be found in T2 in L2 cache. So here it is a miss. Here the miss penalty is T2. The reason is the search has started at T equals 0 and it has ended at this point and there is a miss. So by the time the data has been found, this much time has elapsed. That is T2. Now let's also work out for hierarchical one. In hierarchical, data is first searched in L1. And then if it's not found, it goes to L2. Let the search time in L1 be T1 and here it is T2. Now here in this case, the search starts at T equals 0. It takes T1 to search if the data is found in L1. If it is not found, then it will go to L2 and it will take T2 time to search it. So the search time in L2 is T1 plus T2. Therefore, the miss penalty is in this case, it will be these both together. So T1 plus T2. Now, what if we have three levels, some L1, L2 and L3. First one will take T1, the second one will take T2 and third one will take T3. Here in this case, the miss penalty for L3, it will be T1 plus T2 plus T3. In simultaneous, if you have three levels, T1, T2 and T3. For L3, the miss penalty is only T3 because the search is started simultaneously in all three cache. Okay, I hope you're able to make the difference between hierarchical and uh, simultaneous. Yeah.